In a world of magic and wonder, there was a small, picturesque village named Elmswood, nestled among lush green hills and sparkling rivers. This village was home to a young girl named Gungun, who was known for her enchanting voice and the way she could make any instrument sing. Gungun's best friend, Sarah, was equally talented playing the violin with such skill that it seemed to bring the very air to life. The two friends often performed together, filling the village square with melodies that made hearts soar and spirits lift. Their music was a beacon of joy for the villagers, who would gather around them, clapping and singing along. Gun Gun and Sarah dreamed of one day traveling beyond Elm's Wood, sharing their music with the world. One sunny afternoon, as they were rehearsing for the village's annual festival, a sudden storm rolled in. The sky darkened, and a fierce wind began to howl. Gun Gun and Sarah hurried to pack up their instruments, but a bolt of lightning struck a nearby tree, causing it to fall. In the chaos, Sarah was struck by a heavy branch, and everything went black. Sarah was rushed to the village healer, but despite their best efforts, she slipped into a deep coma. Gun Gun was devastated. Her heart ached with the loss of her friend and she found herself unable to play or sing. The music that once flowed so easily from her fingers and lips now felt like a distant memory. Days turned into weeks, and Gun Gun's sorrow only deepened. She spent her days by Sarah's bedside, hoping for any sign of recovery. The village, too, felt the absence of their music, and a somber mood settled over Elmswood. One evening, as Gun Gun sat by the river, she heard a faint melody carried by the wind. It was a tune Sarah used to play, and it seemed to call out to her. With trembling hands, Gun Gun picked up her flute and began to play along. The notes were shaky at first, but as she closed her eyes and let the music guide her, they grew stronger and more confident. The villagers, hearing the familiar melody, began to gather around. They watched in awe as Gun Gun played with a passion and intensity they had never seen before. It was as if Sarah's spirit was guiding her, urging her to keep going. The music flowed through Gun Gun, filling her with a sense of peace and hope. Gun Gun realized that the only way to heal her broken heart was through the music she and Sarah had shared. She decided to organize a concert in honor of her friend, hoping that the power of their music could reach Sarah wherever she was. The villagers eagerly supported her, helping to spread the word and prepare for the event. On the night of the concert, the village square was filled with people from near and far. The air was thick with anticipation as Gun Gun took the stage, her flute in hand. She began to play the melody that had come to her by the river, and soon, the entire village joined in, singing and playing along. As the final notes of the concert echoed through the night, a hush fell over the crowd. Suddenly, there was a stir near the back of the square. A figure emerged from the shadows, and Gun Gun's heart leapt as she recognized Sarah, awake and smiling. The music had reached her, pulling her back from the brink. The village erupted in cheers and tears of joy. Gun Gun and Sarah embraced their bonds stronger than ever. The music that had once brought them together had now healed them both. From that day forward, they continued to share their gift with the world, knowing that no matter what challenges they faced, their music would always guide them home. And so, in the magical village of Elmswood, the melodies of Gun Gun and Sarah continued to fill the air, a testament to the power of friendship, music, and the unbreakable spirit of hope.